I'm Lolly, also known as Happy Mummy Shopper. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm exploring Stonehenge on Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire, which is run by English Heritage. I visited with my family. Um, when I looked at the prices, it wasn't much more to buy an English Heritage family membership as they were doing an offer. Uh, so it's definitely worth looking at. And I'd already saved over £200 on visiting four of the key properties. This is the entrance if you're driving by car. Uh, we just followed the brown signs um, and it was free to park if you're a member or you have pre-booked your tickets. I do recommend uh, pre-booking your tickets um, on the English Heritage website because I know it can get booked out. There are toilets outside uh, before you go to the ticket booths, uh, you'll just see them in a minute now. Um, please be aware that there are no toilet facilities when you get to the stone circle, so you need to use the ones at the entrance. So to get to the stones, you can walk or take the free shuttle bus provided. Uh, they run every few minutes so you don't have to wait long. Um, it takes about five to 10 minutes um, to actually get to the stone circle. Um, if you decide to walk instead, um, it's approximately 2.6 miles. Um, so it can take around 25 to 40 minutes to walk, depending on how quickly you walk. Um, please be aware that it is over. Um, grass and rough paths so they do say make sure you've got suitable footwear on. There is one stop on the bus which you'll see in a minute uh, where you can get off if you wanted to walk halfway. So this is where the shuttle buses stop. Um, the bus stops a little way from the stones. Um, you can see them in the distance here, so you do need to uh, walk a little, little way. Uh, the stones are believed to have been built over 4,000 years ago. Uh, the enormous stones weigh on average an incredible 20, ton, 20 tons each. Um, and apparently the heaviest is the hillstone, which is 30 tons. Uh, no one knows uh, how it was built or why it was built. You can stay as long as you like at the stone circle, uh, but you need to be back at the visitor centre by five o'clock or seven o'clock if you're there in the summer when it closes. Uh, we saw lots of people having a picnic on the grass. Uh, there is no shelter at the stones, so if the weather is a bit rubbish, um, I definitely wrap up warm and bring an umbrella with you. Now you can walk by Stonehenge for free. Um, I wanted to show how close the path is to some of the stones. Uh, so this path is there on the right where you can see the people. 
um, and the cars park up on the road nearby where the coaches dropped us off. Um, so however, if you want to enter the site and walk around the stones like we did um, and see the other attractions on site, then you do need a ticket. Um, either English Heritage or National Trust members, um, they both get in for free. So we caught the free shuttle bus back um, to the Stonehenge um, Visitor Centre. Again, the coaches uh, come quite regularly and they're there every uh, couple of minutes and they go, once they're full, then they go off um, back to the centre. Uh, so this is the gift shop. Um, so I'll take a one's round and uh, you can have a look and see what they've got in the shop. Uh, there is also a cafe on site, um, which uh, we thought the food quality was quite good. Uh, they do a special kids pick uh, and mix lunchbox meal, uh, which you can see here. Uh, there were also sausage rolls, sandwiches, pasties, soup and scones on the adult menu. Um, at the visitor centre, uh, they have created a Neolithic village. Uh, you can have a wander around here. Um, you can even look inside the huts as well. And then also in this area, um, you can try and pull the uh, massive sarsen stone. You can only access this bit if you have bought the uh, English Heritage ticket. Um, in the holidays, uh, they do put on special activities for the kids, um, as you can see here. This was a special uh, kids dig they had going. And here's the sarsen stone I was talking about. And my son uh, did give it a go, but he uh, he couldn't move it. So there's also the Stonehenge exhibition. Um, at the visitor centre, um, this tells the story of Stonehenge and is well worth a look around. There are lots of audio visual displays and I love watching the changing seasons over Stonehenge on the screen as you go in.
Uh, I hope you've enjoyed my uh, Stonehenge day out vlog. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you've been to Stonehenge and what you thought. Uh, what did you like about it? Did you enjoy it? Um, I've got more uh, family travel video vlogs coming out next week. Um, so please like and subscribe uh, so you don't miss them. Thanks for watching.